Hi there, I have another journal. I've been busy making these things. This one is unique. Um, it has a lot of handmade touches and it has a lot of things that I haven't seen in other journals. And I have to tell you that it does have some um, metal that I've put together myself in it. It could have some sharp edges here and there. I've tried to smooth them all down, but this is copper. <clears throat> this is some sort of metal, and both of these I bought at Hobby Lobby in big sheets, and then you can pull them out and emboss it yourself. I cut it and embossed it myself. I've fastened it with rivets or brads. I've added some plastic gears that I bought in a kit for steampunk. Uh, these are also some uh, brads. They're just bigger round. There are some square ones. I've added some chain from a necklace to look like it's got uh, chains uh, or belts running through the gears. Um, like I said, some of this could be a little bit sharp, so this is not for a young child to play with. I don't want to be held responsible for cuts or scrapes or anything like that. Um, as with any sharp object, you know, cut yourself, it could get infected, whatever. Just know that it is sharp, so don't like just rub your hands all over it. <clears throat> it is very delicate too because it has been embossed, so that embossing can also be flattened out. So this book is super delicate. It is my favorite out of everything I've made so far. It is a hard covered book. It has a stitched spine, stitched in signatures. Um, I hand painted the cover. I embossed paper onto it. Um, I did some stitching with some embroidery thread. I did some stamping with stays on. This paper is also embossed, so it has a lot of texture. I did book corners myself out of some of that same copper. I tried to imprint it some and I fastened it with brads. Again, some of these edges may be a little bit sharp, so be very careful. This book is unique. So this book is about four and a half by eight and three quarters. It is a very chunky book. The spine is two and a half inches. It is hand sewn with a uh, cord that is used to braid and uh, macrame and uh, bracelets. So a lot of the um, young girls, teenagers make bracelets out of this. It's very heavy duty cord. The edge, the spine is embossed paper that has been stamped with stays on. There is a brad here that is holding on the bling, the, the uh, cords. They are attached with a homemade uh, copper or brass uh, loop that I, I have put underneath here. The cords are kind of different on this one. I started out by weaving these together. I don't know if you can see that that is like four beads tied together with a bead in the middle and it comes down and then it is um, kind of macrame in there so that one strand comes out to four. So this strand has um, its embroidery thread. It has some glass beads in blue and sort of a jade green. A crystal one that's faceted that I bought at Hobby Lobby. It's a nice glass bead. Uh, these came from a necklace. One is a gold uh, teardrop and one is a copper cut out teardrop that is textured. There's some nice blue beads, some gold, some pearl. And here again, we've got a blue bead and some pearl, faux pearl. Um, another, it's a cracked glass green bead. This is a blue glass bead that's, um, I don't know if you can see the shimmer in it. 
This was from an earring. It had some really pretty um, yellow faceted teardrop beads. I don't know if you can see the shape of those, but they're nicely faceted. They sparkle really nicely. They feel like glass. I'm not sure if they are. Here's a, a bead that I had one of. Uh, some beads from a necklace I bought ages and ages ago. Some more sparkly faceted beads. This came from a necklace. It is plastic, but it has these really nice little drop faceted beads. The green goes really nice with the cover. It's not a very fancy bead. It's just kind of a, I don't know, out of costume jewelry. I have a nice little metal key. The last strand is another one of those uh, cracked glass faceted beads in green. It kind of goes with the cover too. And another jade colored bead. Another one in darker jade. And this is sort of a turquoise color. And these go with the, uh, the binding and with the cover. I tried to make them all uh, water colors. You know, the colors of the sea. On the back, I made it plain. Uh, there is embossing on the paper that I put on here, and then I covered it with acrylic and gel medium. I stamped it with stays on ink and added the metal corners again that could be sharp. I fastened them on with um, brads, did some stitching. So it is plain so that this book can either stand up, because as you can see, this thing is thick. It is cram-packed. I filled it with as much stuff as I could possibly fill it with. Um, there's some cord jutting out from there. I left little odds and ends sticking out just to make it look more handmade, I guess. I don't know. I just like the, the look of it, so I left it that way. This book either has to stand up or it has to lay down like this because this is embossed metal it is not that thick so you can rub the embossing out so you don't want to set anything heavy on it you don't want to press on it you don't want children messing with it um, because it can um, cut cut them probably uh, some of the chain will move now and then and you just put it back in place it's held in with brad so it does slip around a bit but it gives a, a really nice look to it it's very steampunk it's like a motorized uh, mechanical seahorse. If you can't tell what that is, it has a wing. It has a, an extra piece for its tail, sort of like a mermaid. This is the fastener because I wanted something very unique as the fastener. So I have a turquoise bead. It's a turquoise colored bead. It's not actual turquoise. Let me see if I can find something to lay that on so you can see it. It's a turquoise colored bead. This fastener is a metal piece from a necklace. I popped the bead out and the hole in the middle of it was perfect to snap over this. This is one of those little doorknob type fasteners. I've glued uh, a gear onto it. The gears are plastic. This is um, chipboard and um, paper that has been embossed and then painted in a gold metallic paint acrylic. I sewed the fastener, uh, the uh, piece from the necklace, with some blue turquoise thread onto the cardstock. And then when you open it, it is a steampunk theme. First, you'll notice that the fastener is a piece of mesh ribbon. It's got metal on the edges, so it holds its shape, but this is not. It's delicate, it is glittery, and it is sewn and, and glued onto the back. I've had it come out to the edge here, put chipboard on it that has been embossed, painted this gold to go with the gold glitter and the gold uh, foiled paper, and then I've done stitching 
here so it's it's on there pretty good and there's a little uh, leeway to add stuff to this it'll expand a little bit it's it'll go over pretty far on the inside again I have this foil foiled paper there's plenty room of room here to add things to it um, I left it very rough. There are some blemishes in it. I just left them because that was part of making the book. Um, these are little cloth wings that have some foam in there and they're embossed. So they have texture. I've glued it onto a paper pack that all that came from, I think, Reminisce, which is uh, on Amazon. This is a little uh, nail sticker that's got a little gold bowl bow imprinted on it. I've gone over this with some uh, marker. It's a cutout from some paper from the uh, Keller Kurtz and company. Keller Kurtz and company paper pack. This is a fold out. I did some punching on the ends with a paper punch. Did some um, distressing stamped with stays on a little bicycle. This is pretty thick cardstock. I added some paper from the Keller Kurtz and I drew on some goggles. Uh, did some stamping. It has gesso on it so it feels rough but that's so that you can draw on this paper. You can stamp on this paper and it should not bleed through to the back. I've got some tags from the uh, Reminisce uh, Steampunk paper. I have a paper clip and some ribbon. So this is a belly band. I did put the metal embellishments on here and some ribbon. There are two pockets here. Again, it's got a gesso on it so you can draw on it, uh, watercolor on it, do just about anything. There are a pocket there. I did some drawings of some birds, some seagulls. I colored them in with some watercolor. I did some stamping. Uh, I'm not sure what stamp um, brand this is, but it stays on ink. That's a rubber stamp. Uh, some bling, some more stamping. I did some uh, alcohol ink through a clock stencil. Uh, this crab came from um, Graphics Fairy online. You can find them online. They have tons of graphics. Some of them are free to use with rolls, and then you can also become a Prime member. I am not affiliated with them. I just love their product. I just joined, and I love ac having access to so many different graphics. I took this. I printed it. Uh, on a laser printer so that the ink wouldn't run and I, I painted it with some acrylic uh, copper colored paint. This is some of that ribbon that looks like fishnet that is used for the closure. I just glued that on there just to kind of look like he was in a net. It is not a pocket. This is watercolor paper uh, here because I did the watercolor on, on watercolor paper so it's very thick. I stamped a lovely little bird there, did some uh, stamping here. There's a pocket, some distressing. I had a nice Paris stamp. Um, there's some more bling, a place to write. This is a graphics fairy uh, photograph of a woman. I took a hat that is also one of their graphics, printed it, cut it out, glued it on top of her head, did some drawing on her to brighten her lips because it was a sepia tone. Uh, there's part of those wings from that first set that I cut off the edge. I try not to waste things, so I just glued them on there. There's a nice little uh, blue turquoise feather. Um, there's a belly band, some more of that exposed stitching. There is a nice sturdy pocket here. It is gessoed on the inside and has some aluminum foil tape in there to strengthen this because I did some sewing uh, or I did some brads over here. Um, this is one of the Graphics Fairy uh, graphics. There's some bling. It's on watercolor that I've watercolored on. 
uh, I colored this in. I printed it on a laser printer so that I could paint over it with some copper colored acrylic paint. These are some little metal wings that people use for little angels on cards. Some brads, some plastic gears, and I kind of just made it look like um, a steampunk uh, flying machine for a giraffe. I did some alcohol ink here, place to write. Some um, of the Keller Kurtz paper, some pieces off of some little gold star thingies that I bought at a garage sale. I just like the way they sparkle. Put that with the gear. On this side, I have a bee that was part of Graphics Fairy's uh, site. Um, like I said, they have rules for some of the free items that you can get there. So you have to make sure you read that or you can become a Prime member and um, uh, have fewer rules and, you know, such for using their images. There's a little bee stamp. I smeared this with some gold acrylic paint. Uh, this is a drawing that I did of um, a girl in a catalog. Uh, it was an old Sears catalog. I kind of looked at it and just kind of sketched her out there. <clears throat> I made it look like she's got kind of a, a boyish looking flying suit on. Uh, I hand, uh, did a little hand stamp with some stays on, some more stamps of adventure awaits. Um, enjoy the journey a little bee and if you can see there is an embossed it's an it's embossing paste that I put through a stencil of a hot air balloon to kind of keep with the steampunk theme there's plenty of room between here to uh, put thicker things that you might want there's some more of the reminisce paper in the steampunk package here's some more of the uh, paper punched edges that beautiful bird, and again, this is gesso, so you can draw on it. There's some more of the Keller Kurtz. I drew some um, goggles on her and just kind of drew around her, did some stamping. Some more stamping over here. Enjoy the journey of adventure awaits. Uh, a, a pair of stamp. I stamped it a couple times to give it kind of a, a blurry look. I did some alcohol ink. Uh, roses in the back and pink did some pink bling on there and then you turn here and it's also pink I did this little hand stamp in here here's a woman who has uh, a mechanical heart she has some springs some gears some brads and a piece of copper that I embossed out into a heart it is kind of sharp you have to be careful with it there's a uh, uh, nail art gold bow on her hat. I colored her in. I drew her from a picture that was in a Sears catalog. It's on the Keller Kurtz paper. So some of this, you know, they're hand drawn. Uh, here is a little tag. I made this square uh, paper clip and I just kind of mashed it and made it look rough. Roughed it up a bit. It goes nicely on here. This is a little pocket. It's a pocket. It's got metal embellishment. It has some of that uh, gold texture paste that I put through a flower stencil and a picture from the Tim Holtz. Uh, it's a Tim Holtz paper pack that you can get on Amazon. I can't remember the name of it. And this fits right down in here. This is another page that I've done an embossing of a clock. I colored in her hair. This is the uh, Keller Kurtz paper uh, paper pad again. Uh, that's mostly what I use for this besides the, the uh, Reminisce Steampunk. Uh, I kind of stuck with those two. Uh, I did a stamp of the bird, did some pink alcohol ink again on some pink printed paper. Some more stamping and alcohol ink and some distressing and gesso so it's sturdy. There's some more steampunk drawings. Uh, I put this corset on here. Uh, it was actually on there. I just outlined it to make it stand out, pull it out of the background. <clears throat> Drew some wings on it. Here is a woman with a wing 
and a heart with some brads and I just kind of drew her in to make her stand out. Here is a, a belly band. This is from a really old pack of paper that I got from Hobby Lobby that I don't think is in print anymore. It had kind of a C motif, so I put that in there. There's a pocket and another tuck spot. <clears throat> some pretty paper. Here's some more of the steampunk paper by Reminisce that I got on Amazon. This is delicate <laughs> and it's kind of stuck. Kind of have to take it off carefully. It is a metal paper clip that I sewed some metal wings. I, I fastened some metal wings on with some brads. And you can see the brads on the back. But it's all metal. And it just fits on there. It is a little sharp on the end. <clears throat> Here's a heart with some bling. Uh, it's broken and uh, a gear. On this side, I have another graphic Sperry graphic with a graphic Sperry graphic of a top hat. I've colored in the lips and the ribbons and stamped and put some metal wings, a metal heart, and another metal heart. Well, this is actually plastic, but it's got little gears on it to keep with the steampunk theme. And this is just a nice page that says Embrace Change. And here's a tag I made with some uh, a fabric flower, some ribbon. Um, this is from the steampunk gear kit. It's plastic. I put a uh, safety pin with a little rose on it and just kind of put this down. Here there are two tuck spots. This is all gessoed. You can draw around it. Uh, some more of the Keller Kurtz paper. Uh, just drew some, uh, drew into this and did some copper colored paint distressing in there. Another tuck space, another part of that little heart, and some nautical stuff. Here is a picture of a hot air balloon I drew. I put some, uh, I guess you would call those fins, a uh, little mechanical fins and a, a stamp. This is a little spiral paper clip that has the word live attached to it. And it just goes on here and that just kind of hangs. Here's another tag. It's got the um, texture paste of a uh, textured paste with the hot air balloon stencil, a gear, a paper clip, and this is a little tuck spot here. You can write on the back. And it just kind of sits right there. Here is a bookmark that is actually attached. It has a draw, it has a uh, cutout of a woman from the, one of the prints in the Keller Kurtz paper. I just colored her in some, I put some ribbon to match. That's metallic watercolor paint. Um, this is some, I don't know, it's really rough ribbon. I don't know if you can hear it. It's kind of plasticky, but it's gold. I just kind of fit it back and forth through there. I put a brad or an eyelet. Um, all of this is glued onto a piece of the Reminisce steampunk paper and there's another piece on the back so it's a pretty stiff bookmark. Here's a nice print from the Keller Kurtz that I added. A top hat too, I just drew that in there. I colored her in some and I put some nice wings on her. Stamps here and there and some uh, alcohol inks and it's gessoed. There's a pocket there. This is a fold out and again some of this metal is sharp. There's some wire, some um, gears a brad, some copper um, clock hands, a wing, and there's that seahorse that I did on the front. That's how I embossed him. I, I laid it over this and did an embossing of this specific um, seahorse. This is very thick. I put a very thick pocket here. I did some punch outs on the edges. 
as you can see here, it's a pretty sturdy fold out. On the back is the gears from the uh, Reminisce paper in the steampunk style. Another piece of watercolor paper that's kind of distressed. Another pocket. Some more stamping and pretty paper. And this one seems to be stuck a little bit. Some of that uh, gold embossing is still a little tacky. So I'm going to leave this out of the book and let it dry some more. Um, it's got a little tuck spot there, a little tuck spot here. You can write on the back, and that just gets down in there. On this side, it's more of a nautical theme. It's some more of this um, ribbon that looks like netting. There's a picture from Graphics Fairy. I colored in her lips. It's got all of these little uh, nautical symbols here. I thought it was nice to have a female captain of the ship there. Um, a nautical stamp. This is a drawing that I did of some mountains and I kind of just painted it in with some different colors of uh, watercolor. It's pencil. Uh, I drew this um, whale on here um, from a stencil, I believe. Some more water. Here's something that I just kind of wrote out in pencil and then I alcohol inked it and distressed it and stuck brads through it just to kind of give it a very aged look. You can't really read everything that it says. It's just something I wrote about flying in an airship just to kind of fit with the steampunk motif. This is aged and gessoed. This I hope no one takes offense to, but... Um, the picture is from Graphics Fairy of a mermaid, and she was topless, so I thought, well, some people might not like that. Some people won't care because it's the artistic value, but I, I blended in uh, the image with some watercolor here. I put this gold heart that's broken with the brads and uh, did some stamping, so I think it's just kind of very unique. On here, it's very hard to see, but I glued a napkin that's got some butterflies on it. And this is a pocket. Some of the pockets are even gessoed on the inside because I gessoed the pages and then I stuck them together just to, to make them extra, you know, um, bleed proof. Here's a little tag. It's on nice shiny paper. It was, you know, the backing off of something that I bought, you know. There's a tuck spot here, a tuck spot here. Uh, she's got a nice paper clip here and there's a tuck spot back there. There's some gold embossing um, texture, a nice floor, uh, fabric rose. It just kind of fits down in there. This has some glue on nail art and gold uh, bows, a uh, nice printed bird on some of the Keller Kurtz and Company paper. I just colored some of it in and accentuated some of it. I put some metal wings and a gear on the cloth to show time is flying. Some uh, drew in some of this to accentuate it and put some bling on it. And again, those metal pieces are sharp, so be careful. This is watercolor paper. Here's another tag. It's got paper clip with some bling. It's got a pocket here to slide into a photograph. Some uh, gold texturing. It's got metal embellishment. Uh, you can write on the back of it. This is another fold out. It's been um, stamped. That's just a little rose that I just kind of glued on there because I had some pink alcohol ink that I wanted to accentuate. Uh, here's a little drawing of a balloon, a little hand pointing. Uh, I drew goggles on the women. I put wings on her shoes, did some stamping just to tie it in with the steampunk. Distressing. There is a uh, an octopus from the Graphics fairy, some nautical stuff on water, uh, a print of water paper, paper with water on it. Here's another tag with a pocket and a paper clip and some little bling. 
glued onto it. There is that um, seahorse again. Uh, this is from a very old pack of paper. I don't think it's in print anymore. I got it at uh, Hobby Lobby about 10 to 15 years ago. It already had the sparkly embossing on it and the word soul. I pretty much left it alone and just added a stamp. It is gessoed too, so you can kind of work on top of it. Well, actually, it isn't gessoed. It's just the back side is gessoed. On the back side, I, I guess I did spray it with some alcohol ink because it kind of faded through and shows that coral on the back. I did some just stamp and some bling and a whale from Graphics Fairy. The cording is showing through here. It bled through over here to kind of give it a distressed look. Uh, there's some more of that paper pack I bought at Hobby Lobby a long time ago. So I don't think you're going to see this paper anywhere unless somebody also has some stashed away. Which is possible. Here's a pocket. Oh, I'm sorry. It's a pocket on this side. Some distressed watercolor paper. Here's another little tag. It's just an, a little cutout. And glued some of that paper, that ribbon that looks like netting. Here's another page with uh, the women from the Keller Kurtz paper I do on some uh, like a gas mask type thing, some goggles, just kind of gessoed over it to lighten the background and drew over them to bring them to the front. This is uh, a little bit of the fashion part of the paper. Uh, I drew in the pink and uh, did some silver acrylic paint for the frame, uh, some more distressing in that little bird. And then on the back, it's got the Reminis paper. I did some distressing on it. I glued a pocket on it with some bling. And then, of course, this is the back. And you can see that there's quite a bit of space here between the cover and the back of the book. So you have plenty of uh, space to tuck things. And this is how it fastens. You close it up, lay it on its back pull this piece over and it just fits right there. It's not super snug. It's not going to stay on there if you really mess with it a lot, but it's just a unique closure. So you can see that that's there. You can see how thick it is, how chunky it is. Uh, this is very, very thick here. This book is not going to bend easily. Um, this is waterproof. It you stays on ink, so that should stay on there forever. It, it doesn't come off on your hands. I painted this uh, turquoise color on myself, did the stitching. So it's a pretty sturdy book. It's one of my favorites. I like the blue and green and uh, turquoise motif. And you can see it's very, very thick. It has some tags, some paper clips, some photos. Uh, just remember the metal is embossed. It will lose its embossing if you press on it. Um, it's different kinds of metal. The brads are metal. The gears are plastic. There's chain. It is kind of sharp, so it is not meant for young children. It's sort of a keepsake book in the steampunk fashion. So I hope you like this one. I, I did a lot of work on it. This embossing was the most fun thing I've done in a long time, and adding all of these little metal brads. Uh, it just kind of made it really special, and then I just, I wanted to keep going and going with it, so I added chain, and I, I just, I put a lot of work into this cover. The inside has a lot of different kind of papers in it. It's a little mix and match between um, steampunk fashion and steampunk travel and steampunk uh, sea or ocean, uh, but it is kind of all steampunk. So I hope you like this one. I hope that somebody will want to give this one a nice home. Just remember it's sharp. Don't cut yourself.